the brand new Counter-Strike 2 update Call to Arms has brought a bunch of new content to the game. But with this, it's also affected a lot of players gameplay as they've had lower performance. Many players are running into different problems which are all leading into different solutions for each of them. Many players started running into a mic issue which was causing them a lot of frame rate problems. The issue was that when players would use their mic, they would start wagging and their FPS would drop to insane lows like less than 10. A fix players found was using the streamlined mic input. When you turned it on and then off again, it helped quite a bit. Other players found a different solution that worked out for them which is by increasing the VoIP threshold in the audio settings and then just restarting CS2. Other players found a different solution which is just by disabling all their audio devices except the mic in use. Each of them have been reported by players to have fixed, which Valve has confirmed they are aware of the issue, which did eventually get followed up with an update which said that they fixed a performance bug with certain microphone setups. Since then though, even as recent as today, players are still running into this issue, so it seems like it may just not be fully solved for everybody. This video is partnered with Splits GG, a free to play site that offers plenty of game modes for you to choose from and enjoy. When you sign up and use code WATER, you earn a free 50 cents, plus plenty other of rewards that you have the option to earn. There's plenty of deposit methods to choose from and an easy withdrawal system for you to get your winnings. Just check out Splits GG today. Now as well as this, players have been complaining that all these new updates have been giving them worse performance, which eventually led Valve into making it so you can no longer change this C out into value directly. Instead, they added a different setting which can be changed, buffering to smooth over packet loss. Now you might be wondering what this setting does and which one might be the best option for you. Should you be using none, one packet, or two packet? And well, luckily, Fletcher Dunn went and told us exactly what you should be doing. You should set it to none, unless you're seeing stuttering and also getting packet lost. One packet will fix most problems. Two is probably excessive except for extreme cases. Fletcher Dunn confirmed that instead of players having free reign to change their CL into value to whatever they wanted, now the UI option only allows players to set it to zero, one, or two. Plus, Fletcher Dunn also goes extremely in-depth for those curious on how interpolation works in Source 2 compared to Source 1, where he highly recommends to keep the value to default 0, unless you see stuttering at the same time as packet loss. One thing though is that he mentions, hopefully, we'll be able to post an explainer of this stuff soon.